great politician, and I think has contributed a lot to the Philippines. He's a very good lawyer. He was former second president, and he fought Marcos also during the martial law years. You know, very nationalistic. And he's also very correct in his activities. Two-blooded Filipino. Jovita R. Salonga, brilliant lawyer, noble leader, dedicated public servant, human rights advocate, and freedom fighter, a true statesman, one of the country's beloved citizens, Jovito R. Salonga, born to poor parents in Pasig Rizal, Jovi, as he is fondly called by his family and friends, has already shown remarkable courage and love for the country. He joined the resistance movement against the Japanese colonization. Captured by the Japanese military police in 1942 and released from prison the following year, eluding a military court sentence of 15 years of hard labor, obtaining Bachelor of Laws degree at the University of the Philippines, he topped the bar examinations in 1944 earned his Master of Laws degree from Harvard University, pursued his Juris Doctorate degree at Yale University, and won the prestigious Ambrose Arini Prize for writing the best paper in international law. Aside from practicing law, Jovi became a distinguished and illustrious member of the Academe as professor, lecturer, reviewer, and author of several law books. He shifted his legal expertise from the academe to politics. Joining the country's legislative department in 1961, he was elected congressman of the 2nd District of Rizal and topped the polls in two senatorial elections in 1965 and 1971. He became even more known to the Filipino people during the tragic Plaza Miranda bombing in 1971 severely injuring him, becoming one of the more prominent opposition leaders during the martial law. After martial law, he was appointed by President Corazon Aquino as the first chairman of a presidential commission on good government. Under the Aquino administration, he topped the senatorial elections for the third time. It was during his term as Senate President that the 470 years of foreign military presence in the Philippines has ended. Today, he still actively chairs the Kilos Bayan Foundation, the Bantay Katarungan, and the Bantay ng Mga Bayani Foundation, the organizations he helped found to uphold justice and truth among his people. Indeed, Jovito R. Salonga, practice what he preached, for in his own words he said, genuine service to others, not power nor prestige, is the key to true greatness. Jovito R. Solanga, epitome of greatness. The first Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma awardee.